Hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial on how to slip edit drums in Bitwig. I am using Bitwig 4.1.6, so the latest stable release. And it doesn't matter exactly in, on which version you are on, it should work on either version you are in. I guess it's probably, probably the same workflow even in version 2. Um, but anyway, yeah, just get started. So first off, you want to make sure that you have all your drum drum tracks, um, yeah, just lined up in a way that makes sense to you. So in my case, I try and typically group all the kick tracks inside a separate group, like you can see here the same for snare and overheads could have done that for the tom tracks as well but did not for i don't know what reason but that does not matter something that is important that you have all your drum tracks inside a master group which is called drums in this case because we want to make use of that uh, main group or master group to cut and edit all the stuff. Next up, you might want to check if you are familiar with your shortcuts in Bitwig, because we need a shortcut or at least it makes it easier to know the shortcuts for toggle on off snap grid. A grid snap, that's the grid snap, yeah and for increasing or decreasing the grid resolution. So yeah, just let it check that real quick. Like you go to settings and shortcuts and you hit S for toggle snap. Um, and the dot is for larger bit grid and the smaller bit grid is the um, comma or semicolon. I guess it's called and uh, if you have a different project it might even help to have something like slice in place on a shortcut but for now we just need that um, snap to grid and grid resolution smaller or bigger for the most parts of the song a 16th resolu grid resolution will just work fine uh, some parts throughout the song will have uh, 30 seconds. Um, but yeah, we will probably not go that far into the song because it's quite long. It's six minutes and six and a half minutes roundabout. So let's get started. So first of all, you got all your gr tracks grouped like this. We will make sure that we start off with on beat so if you engage the metronome you can clearly see it's right between the last um, bar and the next one so this is the first first four bars and then right in between bar four and five it's uh, yeah the drum begins to play but we will not do that we will move that over to the last bar um, to bar four, right? So in order to do so, you got all your tracks lining up that, like that. And I like to use the time selection tool rather than the knife, cause the knife selection tool is more versatile and I like that. And you will either way start zooming in or just increase the track size like so to cut right before the waveform, like so. Yeah, so place your marker right there. And as you can see, I did that on the main group, like on the drums right here, because if we move down and place it like there, it will just cut our kick tracks. To cut, I typically use backspace. And you, you can tell it just cut our kick tracks, which is not what we want. So pay attention where you place your cursor and then hit backspace and voila, we got the first cut. 
So now press one to go back to the uh, pointer and then you are good to go. Make sure you got a snap to grid toggled on and simply just drag that one back to the fourth bar. So as you can see by just looking at the the bars and the the beats, it's pretty much in time. It slips off right around here and yeah, carries on slipping off right around the same amount throughout the whole song. So not that bad in terms of playing. In terms of editing, you want to pay attention to the close mics like kick, snare and the toms. We totally avoid cutting on the overheads or ambient room mics. So in our case, whenever we got a kick transient like this, we will make sure to cut first on kick, then on snare. And if we don't have kick and snare um, hits available to cut on, then carry on with the drums. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> with the toms. And yeah, for this reason, we will stick to kick most of the time in the song because that's our main focus. So as you can see, if there's only so little time where before the grid, the grid starts before the initial trend the end, you want to make sure that you hit S to deactivate snap to grid so you can freely move around and then go in and place your um, pointer up there in the group track, hit backspace and yeah simply move on like like this throughout the whole song. You don't have to zoom in too much into detail because you can tell by just looking at it, we are probably about a 30 second or 64 bit grid. Um, just from looking at it, that this is 16th node. Um, so don't get too, too busy around that and don't pay attention too much on, on the detail because when we are done cutting all the regions we will then fill out the gaps and crossfade everything and yeah quantize before so um yeah we will take care of that at a later st stage and as you can tell it's probably not the fastest process uh, especially if you have watched people using Pro Tools and using Big Detective, which do, does all of that stuff for you. Probably not always perfect, but close to. Um, this is not the fastest solution to this, and I hope Bitwig will improve upon that. But for now, it gives us the best results we want. Because you could easily use like, um, yeah, just cut on slice in place, like cut on onsets. But that will only work so far that if you have like, um, in this example, like if we had a kick track and a snare track, and that's all you got to get a cut, um, that will work because um yeah the the time delay between both of the mics is not so big that it makes such an impact on the listening listening experience but for a multi mic setup like real drums it's going to ruin your whole track like really really ruin ruin all of that and what do I mean by that is if we take a look down here in the detail editor and we go to track and enable layer editing and we select our, all of our tracks, we can see where Bitwig detects the onsets, which are the blue triangles right here. And yeah, just let me zoom out really quick. 
Yeah, like so. We can see that Bitwig detects transients, like so. And this is the, the kick, and this is what Bitwig detects on the overhead and ambient room mics. And sometimes it misses some of these uh, transients. Sometimes it shifts over stuff, so it's totally, yeah, it's more or less a nightmare to work with because sometimes even on overheads it detects one transient happening faster or earlier than the other and that will just mess up the um, perception if you cut based on that because what would happen in the quantize is like perfect example like this this two tracks right here we got one transient happening or de being detected early and the second one later and if bitwig would cut based on that and then quantize we would totally have smashed our width of the drum kit simply because we elim eliminated all of the uh, time alignment stuff happening like all of the hits would happen at the same time and therefore the kit would sound just small because we need that that the ambient mic in relation to the overhead is happening or getting the information a little later and even later than our first initial hit so that gives us the perception of width and depth and therefore we want to maintain that so i would not encourage you to cut based on the onsets and therefore slip editing is the only way to get around that so we have finally yeah just cut up a short section and now you can't just select the clip above right here and hit q for quantize because that will shift the audio event and as you can tell it's right around the middle of everything we wanted yeah so if we increase grid resolution you can't see i probably can't tell from looking right around here or looking a bit below here better better visualized looking right around here so we got that um we got that set to 30 second and if we hit quantize it's not quantizing that to 30 seconds note it's just yeah, taking somewhere in between based on these onsets and that's not what we want we want it to be tight and locked into grid and therefore we can't use q or alt q to quantize that so we have to do that manually so simply hit Control z to undo and then grab the group and move it over there make sure you got snap to grid enabled grid resolution set to um sorry just hit, missed that 16 nodes so we are not getting anything in between just move that regions over to the, their desired destinations and if that's like you have seen me doing uh, eating into the previous signal that's not a problem and if there's a gap there's that's no problem either because we will cross fade and fill out the, these gaps afterwards so yeah simply just drag and drop all the stuff into place which is time time consuming i know but will result in much much better sounding drum sounds overall and obviously in a, to a tighter performance so simply drag these over and right now you can tell why we grouped all the drums in this particular way so we can simply just select one group and have all the tracks moving accordingly so afterwards simply highlight all of your tracks 
like all the tracks you want to highlight and then go over and zoom in on the biggest gap you have in between them and simply drag them over till they meet the other track like so so now our cut point has moved from our um, beat our grid but that's just the clip itself the transients are all lining up perfectly as they should and now we can hit Control j to consolidate all of our tracks so our cpu or gpu doesn't have to render as much as before as you can tell from looking in the inspector panel we still have our 14 clips like this ones are 14 separate tracks but inside these selected tracks we have our 518 audio events which is still the individual chopped up sections we can see in the detail editor we still got all of the individual uh, slices and pieces of these audio events so to further reduce the amount of cpu needed you simply could right click and bounce on place or hit ctrl and b and that's it that's how you quantize and slip edit drums in bitwig and you can tell we got 14 tracks and we got 14 audio events from looking in the inspector so we are good to go everything sounds good yeah so you want to make sure if you edit then take another step and listen back to what you did if it sounds the way you want it if it does perfect you can then just bounce that out if you need to correct that you probably should have listened back to it after consolidating before bouncing so you can move individual reason regions around even better doing it after you edit all the stuff that's for it that's it for this video so um yeah if you got any questions regarded or related to editing in bitwig leave them down in the comments below if you like that video like that video if you share that video with your friends that would be super helpful to grow this channel and i would advise you to ring the notification bell so you will be notified whenever a new video is up and see you next time bye